the princess and the very big tiger. Once upon a time, a Chinese princess lived in a magnificent palace with her father, the emperor, and her grandmother. It was said that her gentleness and charm could enthrall even the most insensitive creatures. But one day, a very big tiger invited himself into the palace. He was in a dreadful mood and threatened to destroy everything. I'm in a dreadful mood. Entertain me now, or I'll destroy everything. Welcome to our home, Mr. Tiger. Please, make yourself comfortable. The princess would have to be extremely wily to expel the tiger from the palace. Who would be wary of such a kind, delicate, and sweet princess? Uh, Lupin, what are you doing here? I'm practicing getting rid of that tiger! That way I can be the hero! Is that okay? Well, okay, but yes. go gently, Lupin. Cool, I can handle that big bad temper cat. So, are you looking for trouble? <laughs> the princess sweetly invited the tiger to the music room. What? Uh, more like pushed him out. Yeah. Oh, hey, Mr. Tiger. How about visiting the music uh, room? Uh, music? Why not? Whoa. Wait for me! I'm coming! The princess, an accomplished musician, knew how to play these instruments better than anyone. The tiger would be amazed. Know how to play instruments? <laughs> you bet. <laughs> so, still waiting to be entertained. Lupin, the princess is renowned for her gentleness. Attack! <laughs> Thanks to her uh, music, the princess had succeeded in making the tiger even more bad tempered than ever. That was a terrible racket, and that makes me want to tear this palace apart. Our heroine decided to appease the beast with a traditional dance. A dance? But that's no way to get rid of him. Unless... Uh, um, this uh. way, Mr. Tiger. Very boring. When does it start? Palace dancers were famous throughout the empire for their rare and gentle grace. Ah. But their skills were nothing compared to those of the princess, who was an excellent uh, salsa dancer, tango dancer, oh, kung fu expert. me, little princess? If that's how it is, well, I'm gonna tear this place apart! Oh, no. <laughs> Wait for me, Mr. Tiger. Uh, wouldn't you rather, uh... Have a nice hot bath? Have a nice hot bath? Uh, bath? How am I supposed to attack the tiger like that? Uh, a bath? Over there. Why not? Pfft, what nonsense. I should have suggested it. Or a duel. You know, Lupin, in the yeah. story, the princess never uses violence against the tiger. There must be another way. Well, look at the way I can fight! <laughs> Just watch me hammer that oversized kid! Ow! My nose hurts. How am I going to get rid of the tiger now? Let's see where it hurts. Oh. There, sweet child. 
And now a little kiss to make it better. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Grandmother. That's better. <gasps> In fact, a lot better. I know what to do now. The tiger soaked in a hot bath, much more relaxed than before. Uh, it's too hot. No, no, now it's too wet. Annoyed by the princess, the tiger was still in a very, very, very bad mood. Hmm. Lupin, what are you doing now? You're not going to try and fight him again. The princess walked over to the tiger in his hot bath and used her fists uh, huh? <laughs> to massage the tiger, gently pummeling his furry back. <laughs> well done, Lupin. You managed to subdue the tiger with gentleness. <laughs> when the animal fell asleep, the guards seized their opportunity to capture and remove it from the palace. The end. This tiger's really cute when you're nice to him. Oh, but... Ow! What's this? Oh, yeah. This thorn is huge. That sure must have hurt. Yes, it did. Whoa. But I feel a lot better now. See, now that he's not sore, he's gentle as a kitten. <laughs> <laughs> The princess asked her father if she could keep the animal in the palace, and so they stayed together forever. <gasps> the end. Well done, Lupin. They became the best of friends. <laughs> I found a friend, too. <laughs> <laughs> the Emperor's Vase. Once upon a time, there was an old potter whose porcelain pieces were famous for their delicacy. Hmm. Every year, the emperor himself requested the most beautiful of his vases. Bring me my vase! But the potter was very old. I'm very old. So he asked his son to take his place. <laughs> son, it's time for you to take my place. I'm trusting you with our most beautiful piece. It is a great honor, Father. You can count on me. Good. Phew. Uh? It sure is hot in there. Lupin, hmm? what are you doing here? I really want to go deliver that vase to the Emperor. That way I'll be the hero. Mm, well, okay. You can be the little potter, <laughs> but listen carefully to what you're told. I promise. Thank you, Mr. Narrator. <laughs> Here we go to the palace. <laughs> Don't forget my faithful mule. Oh, phew, that'll make things easier. Hello, mule. Are you ready for the trip? Yes, I've made this journey hundreds of times. Listen to him carefully. He'll know how to guide you throughout the empire. Well, the emperor awaits us. And so the faithful mule and the little potter began their journey. With his father's advice in mind, the little potter happily followed the mule. Wait, where is he gone? Hey, faithful mule, come over here. I found a shortcut. Thank you, but I prefer to keep to my path. <laughs> You mustn't wear yourself out. We still have a long way to go. There was an old bridge to cross over. A bridge! <laughs> but the mule advised the potter's son against using it. I know a better way. The idea of crossing the river by the ford seemed quite odd to the little potter. But he recalled whoa, his father's whoa. advice. Wait a sec! That looks way too slippery! Mule, let's go across the bridge. It's sturdier. You ought to be careful. But no, look, it, it's solid. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> the unexpected fall made the little potter think again. Hmm. He promised himself he'd listen to his mule carefully from now on. Hey, wait for me! 
Potter soon came to the great rice terraces, which had to be crossed to reach the emperor. <gasps> Hang on, we can't go that way, it's too steep. Oh, yes, we can. This path is my way. Wait. Oh, let's go along those mountains to get to the palace. That'll be much easier. Well... The stubborn little Potter refused to listen to his mule's wise advice and led them towards the mountains. Yippee! See? This way's really fun! <laughs> Who dares disturb me during my nap? Will you get off my back, please? <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to break your vase. No, no, it's all my fault. I took the wrong path. Aw, you took this path hundreds of times. I really should have listened to you. Tell me, Mule, you worked with the potter for years. Do you know if a vase can be repaired? Hmm, a certain technique does exist. But you'll have to listen to my advice very carefully. This time I will listen to you. The mule told the little potter how to repair the vase by using fine clay from the bottom of the rice paddy. And this time, the little potter listened very carefully. All you have to do now is bake it, but I don't see a kiln anywhere. We may not have a kiln, but we do have a dragon! Dragon and Faithful Mule, this face is magnificent! Well done, Lupin! Let's deliver it! Uh, where was I? <laughs> there was still a long way to go, but the Faithful Mule was very tired, so the little potter had to leave him behind. What? He continued the journey alone and delivered the vase to the Emperor. The end. Hey, <laughs> no! How can I do this without you? I don't want to leave you behind. Hey! Not being able to walk doesn't mean you can't go somewhere. Still waiting for his vase, the emperor was losing patience. I'm losing patience. But suddenly... <gasps> Most venerable emperor, my father sent me to deliver the vase you requested. I hope it pleases you. Hmm. Hmm. Splendid. Emperor, I could never have brought this vase to you without the mule's precious advice and the dragon's speed. The little potter had honored his father and had earned the emperor's confidence. He could go home head held high. After listening carefully to his father's teachings, the little potter took over the pottery with unexpected help from the dragon. The end. Good work, Lupin. You made it in the end. Now you're ready to become a potter yourself. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Oopsie. Well, maybe not. But riding a dragon's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lupin. <laughs> The Crown and the Monkey Geek. Once upon a time, an aged emperor was about to give up the throne. It is time for me to give up the throne. According to tradition, whoever wears the crown at nightfall will rule the empire. Wei, my child, you are both wisdom incarnate and a noble warrior. There is no better successor. What? The Emperor mm. cut the cheese! Mm -hmm. <laughs> what a laugh, right? Unforgivable. <laughs> How dare he! The council was accustomed to the Monkey King's jokes, but this was too much. He was immediately struck off the council. <laughs> no council for me, no crown for you! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> that foolish monkey king must not become the emperor. Wei, get the crown back fast. Mm -hmm. uh. hey. <laughs> Lupin, what are you doing here? Mr. Narrator, sir, I would so love to be a super strong warrior girl and save the empire. Can I be the hero, please? Well, okay, yes. but don't let yourself be distracted. I promise. <laughs> the sun was already high in the sky. The wise warrior girl, Wei, went after the Monkey King at once. Lupin, time is moving on. On the path leading to the Monkey's Kingdom, level-headed Wei was more determined than ever. Mind telling me what you think is so funny? Mind telling me what you think is so funny? Level-headed Way ignored the little monkey's taunts and went on her way. So you think imitating me is funny? So you think imitating me is funny? Uh, Lupin, <laughs> shall we go on with the story? Okay. That makes you laugh so much. How about imitating this? Hey! Yeah! Hey! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Just wait. I'll show those silly monkeys. Ahem. <clears throat> Daylight was ebbing fast. In her quest to retrieve the crown, we didn't have a minute to lose. Deep in the heart of the jungle, we discovered the monkey's kingdom. Great warrior girl, looking for something? <laughs> we absolutely had to get the crown before nightfall, or the Monkey King would become the emperor. I'm coming for you, Monkey King. This time, don't let yourself be distracted, Lupin. Don't worry, I won't fall for it this time. <sighs> but what do I have to do for you to take me seriously? Do you know how to make music with your tummy? Or like scratch your ears with your feet? But that's ridiculous. Great warriors don't do silly things like that. They don't? Or jumping on rocks, grabbing vines, swinging and screeching. <laughs> Can you do that? <laughs> Lupin, you shouldn't listen to them. Just wait, I'll show them. <laughs> well, are you coming for the crown or not? <laughs> oh no, the sun is setting and I still haven't got the crown. We will never become empress. I've messed everything up. <gasps> Perhaps all is not lost, Lupin. You still have time. Yahoo! I shall be the greatest emperor of all time! <laughs> Ridiculous isn't so awful after all. Looks like a curly worm! Yeah! <laughs> you bet. And this is the curly worm dance. Oh, uh, Lupin, are you sure about this? It's the curly worm dance! This is cool! <laughs> <laughs> hey, did he just get loose? Time to clown around? The sun is setting. <laughs> yeah, doesn't smell too sweet here either. <laughs> I need a bath too. <laughs> yes. Well done, 
awesome, Lupin! <laughs> Way had succeeded. She would go on to rule for many long years. As for the Monkey King, he was banished from the council forever. Huh? The end. Wait, just because he made too many jokes? That's kind of harsh. I think I may have an idea. From then on, the Monkey King was allowed to make one joke per council meeting. Why did the banana go to the hospital? It didn't peel well! <laughs> and since that day, it is not rare to hear merry laughter ring out across the palace. The end. <laughs> All this is thanks to you, Lupin. <laughs> huh? That wasn't me! <laughs> I couldn't resist. Long live Empress Way! Long live Empress Way! Long live Empress Way!